are going to be doing a Mexican style baked chicken. And to be honest, I really love baked chicken in all its form, uh, whether it's just a whole chicken or just legs, thighs, or wings. So let's grab our aprons and let's get our ingredients together and let's start cooking. For our Mexican style baked chicken, we're gonna need a whole chicken, baby potatoes, olive oil, garlic, black pepper, paprika, chili powder, cinnamon powder, dried thyme, Mexican oregano, cumin, and I believe this is pronounced a chote salt powder. If I get it wrong, forgive me. So for our marinade, we've got us some olive oil in a nice little bowl. And to that, we're gonna add in our garlic. And then our dried seasoning, which is black pepper, paprika, chili powder, cinnamon powder, dried thyme, Mexican oregano, cumin, and the achote powder. I'm gonna try and get it all in the bowl. make a mess? Not a little bit, not much. All right, so we're going to get this all mixed up. So it's, it's actually more of a paste than like a liquid marinade. So, but now all we have to do is get it on our chicken. All right, so I've done some cleanup on my chicken, you know, cutting off the tail and some of the extra uh, uh, skin. So um, normally you don't have to spatchcock your chicken, but I like to. And basically spatchcocking your chicken is just removing the backbone. So, but I just wanted to make sure that I was able to get in this marinade all over the place. And so we're going to also push this up under the skin as well so this will get a bit messy so don't be scared and we want to get this inside and outside I'm just throwing this marinade paste all over the place them over and get the inside. All right, so we got our potatoes, which we've quartered and placed in a baking pan. So this part is totally optional. I like to just drizzle um, a little bit of olive oil on my potatoes and add a little bit of all-purpose Mexican seasoning just to give them a little bit of flavor along with what they're going to be pulling in from the chicken. And then we're going to give this a quick little toss. Oop, got one trying to get away. And then now we are going to take our chicken and set him skin side down into the pan. So, there we go. And so this is going to go into a 425 degree oven and it's going to cook for about an hour, hour and a half until it gets an internal temperature of at least 165. So we just pulled this out the oven and it's been cooking for about an hour and a half and we've got an internal of over 165. So we're gonna let this rest for 10 minutes and then we're gonna get it plated up. Okay, so we've let our chicken rest 10 minutes 
and it smells wonderful. So I'm going to give a taste of the potatoes. Oh God. I'm a little partial to the wings. So I'm gonna, and they are it is just literally just falling off the bone. Oh my God. Great spice, no bite, but it's got a great taste to it. So I'm hoping that everybody enjoyed the video. I wanted to thank everyone for watching and the support that you've given my channel. And as always, enjoy cooking in the kitchen. And until next time.